what is your top manifesto for children? Children are central. As I have, as I have said, I'm a father of both girls and, uh, and boys. On top of it is education. Because education provides um, opportunities uh, to children to escape from poverty. Hello and welcome to Playground Chats. I am your host today, Upendo Nawire, and I am joined by Charles Wambua, aspiring MP Mavoko. So, Mr. Wambua, how are you today? Fine, thank you. I am actually a resident of Mavoko from Siokimau, mm -hmm. it's, so it's quite an honor to meet you. Nice to know that you come from Mavoko. Yeah. Uh, going into the questions, what can you please tell the viewers and I more about yourself? Okay. Thank you. My name is uh, Charles Mutua Wambua. I'm a resident of Mavoko. I'm a father um, and uh, I live uh, in, uh, in Athi River. Um, I am a graduate with a master's degree in strategic management. Uh, and I have worked uh, in the financial services sector and development for over 27 years. Um, and I am the CEO of a consulting company called uh, Magnific Consult. Uh, looking forward to this conversation and getting to know more about children. Thank you. Um, what position are you vying for and what was your motivation to start? Thank you. I am vying for Member of Parliament, Mavoko, and uh, my motivation is drawn from uh, the fact that uh, our country, and specifically uh, the constituency that I come from, uh, needs leadership. I have had uh, this call on my life for a long time, but um, as it is usually said, uh, there's time for everything. Uh, for me, I feel this is the time because I have gathered a lot of experience. Um, I have uh, learned a long, you know, a lot along the way. And besides that, uh, our country requires leadership, not politics. Leadership in the sense that uh, everything that we need to do, everything that we need to see whether it is development, whether it is, um, you know, um, setting up policies that make a lot of sense for the society. It requires, uh, you know, leadership. And I would say that, um, you know, um, drawing from, uh, um, you know, menders that, uh, um, you know, mean a lot to me, like uh, Martin Luther King Jr. and his leadership style, and the impact that is created, um, I already see, uh, you know, a need to have such kind of leaders uh, within the society. So, I'm motivated, uh, especially for member of Parliament Mavoko, because um, Mavoko needs leadership. Mavoko is, um, I would say, quote unquote, the breadbasket of uh, Machakos County. It's uh, the most pro productive uh, constituency, so it requires, uh, uh, you know, a leader who um, who understands the dynamics of leadership, who understands what is development, um, a manager and administrator, and uh, someone who is well educated uh, to represent the society very well at the national level. So, if you ask about my personal motivation, it's. Uh, it's a burden in my heart, actually, to provide leadership so that our society can progress, um, uh, participate um, in, um, in decision making so that the future generation can find a foundation that is already set and established and, um, and, uh, and they can actually find a foundation that uh, reassuring in terms of uh, employment, in terms of uh, resources, in terms of you know a, a good environment that they are living in and the, all this is dependent on leadership so i am um, i have that determination to get into that leadership space um, to create an impact mm. yeah all right that's that's quite an inspiration uh what is your top manifesto for children 
children are central as i have as i've said i'm a father of both girls and uh, and boys and uh, on top of my agenda because i have uh, i have lived through uh, the society to understand the challenges that children go through on top of it is education because education provides um, opportunities uh, to children to escape from poverty uh, and for me uh, for children education is very key number two is uh, creating an environment that is conducive for their you know for their growth uh, you know human development is uh, critical in terms of um, the environment that um, is provided for that process to you know to be to 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 go on well so for the children i'm looking at education but i'm also looking at the space that the children grow in uh, are specifically in my constituency you will find uh, we have schools that do not even have playgrounds yes. and i'm looking at this and, and saying that this is so critical for the children, uh, even for their, you know, psychological development and stuff like that. Yeah, and also making sure that uh, every child, um, you know, uh, their child rights are taken care of. Yeah. So this is uh, actually part of my agenda. Yeah. yeah. Staying on the topic of schools, there have been cases where children have to travel a long distance to get to schools that are too far away from them because there are no schools that are built around their homes. Yeah. Even in most cases, secondary schools are not very close and the parents also have to travel a long way for like normal parent-teacher conferences that are essential to help the parents and the teachers understand how to help build up the child. Yeah. So what solution do you have for this? Yeah, I agree. Um, we have uh, very few high schools in, in Mavoko. So it remains um, a development agenda uh, to build more high schools as well. As we speak, uh, in the new curriculum uh, at the moment, we have uh, children who are graduating from grade uh, five to grade six. So uh, going to high school, um, we don't have enough schools and, and that's a fact. So as a member of parliament, I will need to uh, create synergies and partnerships with, um, uh, with the stakeholders in Mavoko to make sure that we have developed uh, enough uh, schools. And coupled with that, as you have said, is uh, making sure that those schools are accessible. So creating roads so that parents actually can, you know, travel to those schools, walk to those schools and engage with, uh, with, uh, with the schools as it, as it were. So, it, it needs not to be gainsaid. I mean, it, it's a fact, it's a need, and, and it needs to be prioritized as so, uh, so that we have enough uh, primary schools, enough uh, high schools, um, and that need is, uh, is, is well taken care of, yeah. And going on the topic of transport, it has, the road networks in Mavoko are very poor, mm. and from what I have seen and from my own experience as well, it has also caused a lot of accidents with the vans True. and the buses that are going. So how are you going to help enhance the transport yeah. system and the road network in Mavoko? Yeah, that's a very good question. Infrastructure is uh, critical uh, in, in Mavoko as it is also elsewhere. But Mavoko, we are a bit needy because um, uh, some of the roads are not motorable, effectively motorable. So uh, it's part of my agenda to partner both with the county government and the national government uh, into making sure that um, our roads are motorable um, and um, most of them are tarred so that uh, we can enjoy, you know, um, good road network in, Ma in Mavoko. Uh, those are huge investments, but uh, Mavoko needs, um, uh, you know, leaders all the way from, uh, you know, the county level up to the national level, uh, holding hands together and uh, making sure that these infrastructure investments are made. 
and also taking advantage of the stakeholders within Mavoko itself, the industries, the factories, making sure that uh, you know we can we can make this happen, and it is possible. Um, uh, within a period of five years, you should have done several kilometers of uh, these roads and making it very easy uh, for the residents. Uh, I don't see why it would be difficult. It, it should be done, and it can be done. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Going into the infrastructure, mm -hmm. um, there have actually been a lot of slums that have seemed to be growing daily. Yeah. and are affecting the upbringing of children. What solution do you have for this? Okay, um, I think most important is to acknowledge that uh, slums are there. Um, and they may not be going away because um, it's all dependent on uh, people's income. Uh, but one, one thing that is prevalent um, in this category of the society is that um, poverty cuts across. So one of the solutions that I have is first of all to make sure that children have access to education easily. Um, making sure that the schools that we create are nearby and also those schools have enough uh, you know space for playgrounds so that children actually can grow uh, naturally without uh, feeling constrained. Uh, the other thing is to make sure that um, bursaries are available for the needy. Uh, making sure that there is no child that will uh, miss going to school because they had no school fees, um, they had no provision. Then uh, also working with the, the local admin system to make sure that uh, especially children from the very poor um, families uh, don't lack food. Um, I want to find a way of, um, you know, bringing together stakeholders so that um, we make sure that children are not, you know, lacking food. They are not lacking their basic uh, rights. And uh, the other thing also is to make sure that um, we have created uh, adequate economic activities, either through empowerment, through trainings, or, you know, partnering with um, uh, the economic investors within Movoko so that the parents of these children have access to employment because that way then we will make sure that children have provision and we don't have children resulting into child labor and so missing out on uh, going to school and denying the future generation of uh, productive labor that is educated and well enabled mm. yeah all right thank you for joining us today it was an it was my honor and this is playground chats i am your host upendo nawire see you next week